Hi everyone, welcome to the Adas Trading Platform channel. In this video, we'll discuss filters for cluster charts and take a closer look at the trades percentage ratio filter in a cluster. By the end of this video, you'll find out whether this filter is useful for identifying crucial support and resistance zones. You'll also discover which range bar chart to use when setting up the filter for efficient identification of levels and potential price reversal points. To start, let's quickly recap what cluster charts of trades are. They display the cumulative number of executed buy and sell trades in each cell. In other words, volumes of executed trades are not taken into account in the clusters, only the quantity of trades is considered. This enables us to see areas where there were few trades and where there were many. This filter will help us remove unnecessary small values in the clusters by excluding a specified percentage of clusters. The algorithm reads all values in each cell from the history, and you just need to choose a percentage value. Let's take a closer look, open the chart settings and select the cluster settings tab. Scroll down to find the filters. Click the plus button to add a new filter, select the desired filter, and in this window, set the value in percentages. Now, let's increase the filter, for example, to 15%. This means that we have filtered out all values that are less than 15% of the maximum cluster value existing in the loaded history. In simple terms, we need to filter out clusters with low trading activity. This will allow us to focus on places where there was a high interest in the price, as numerous trades mean that buyers and sellers were interested in the prices at the levels where they appeared. Another advantage of this filter is that it is less commonly used than the most popular clusters with volumes or delta. In other words, we have a chance to look at areas that others may overlook, but we can find interesting trading zones there. Let's take a look at examples using oil futures with the CL ticker on the CME exchange. First, we'll attempt to configure the filters on a 4-hour chart to identify zones with heightened interest on a higher time frame. It's easier to adjust the parameters on a compressed chart to see a lot of candles. However, note that in ADAS, the default setting transforms candles into regular Japanese ones when narrowed. Let's disable this feature to make the process easier. To do this, go to Settings, Visual Settings tab, scroll down and uncheck the Auto Candle Transformation setting. Another important setting is analyzing clusters throughout the entire historical data. By default, ADAS is set to filter based on the visible part of the chart. This means that as you scroll left or right through the history, the maximum and minimum values will adjust, affecting the visualization of filters. To fix this, go to the cluster settings and find the proportion settings group. Change the visible area to the entire chart. Our goal is to uncover real long-term interest in prices rather than momentary spikes in trading activity. Now, let's return to our filter and increase the parameter until the cluster visualization shifts from a continuous display to a more focused one. We need the strongest zones with active trading. The method to confirm significant zones is as follows. The price should react to the clusters with bounces featuring tails or absorption patterns. In the case of a breakout, clusters should act as a mirror area. We can see that the 50% range is close to optimal because noise in clusters starts appearing below it. By noise, I mean numerous individual highlighted cells. Since we're interested in significant activity zones, we need to minimize the presence of isolated cells. However, setting the filter above 50% results in the exhaustion of clusters or even their disappearance. Taking a quick look at zones and clusters, we notice that zones are often broken out without providing rebounds. At the same time, the appearance of clusters frequently precedes price reversals. As we're searching for more effective zones that would offer us frequent price rebounds, let's switch to the range XV chart using a 5 period for a closer look. We'll also adjust the chart scaling to 5 to extend the periods of range bar formation. You can find a detailed video on scaling settings on the channel linked in the description. Let's see if this helps identify more significant levels compared to a scale of 1. We observe a price decrease, and towards the end of the impulse, there is a spike in trader activity. Let's combine the clusters into a zone and observe how the price reacts to this area. Over the next 15 candles, there are several unsuccessful attempts to break out these clusters. This type of range bar helps identify price absorption patterns, indicating the failure of buyers. During testing, another cluster appears. The seller takes control over it and, as a result, the downward impulsive movement continues. 
This example clearly illustrates the price's reaction to the clusters, and the limited number of clusters simplifies the analysis. Let's see what was happening with the clusters on the same chart but with a scale of 1. Firstly, we need to reduce the filter since a 50% value is too large. We decrease the value to 15% and observe the accumulation of clusters, but at the same time, there aren't many individual clusters. In the area where we had two strong clusters, we see several groups of clusters. If we group them into sets of adjacent clusters, we'll get roughly the same zones, but on a scale of 1, it's a bit trickier to track the price reaction. Here, we don't see such clear tails, and absorption patterns are not as apparent. Nevertheless, in contrast to the 5 scale chart, here we have an additional zone with clusters that managed to prevent the price from falling over an extended period. These two examples prove that it is interesting to analyze charts with both a scale of 1 and 5. There's a greater chance of confusion, but it also provides additional crucial information about the zones. When the scale of 1 is used, there isn't a clear cluster during the testing of the initial zone. Moving on to the next cluster that formed during a new downward impulse. Following the emergence of clusters, the price moved upwards, attempting to break the zone. Initially, there were signs of a bounce, but ultimately, a candle with a tail confirmed the breakout. The price continued to rise after the breakout. In this case, the chart with a scale of 1 showed an accumulation of clusters roughly in the same zone, and here we observed a noticeable price reaction and an opportunity for buying during the testing of the new zone. In this scenario, the smaller scale provided better entry opportunities than the scale of 5, but overall, both situations were well interpreted. In the next example, once again, the one scale chart provided an opportunity to identify an interesting zone at the end of the uptrend. There weren't as many clusters as on the low, but we can identify two zones where sellers reacted. There were several tests, and the price resumed its decline. On the five scale chart, there were no clusters in this zone. After the downward impulse on the 1x scale, a zone of increased trader activity appeared again, and we got a reversal point to the upside. However, on the 5x scale, there were no clusters again. Moving on. New clusters appeared during the uptrend. Right after their appearance, we see the buyer's control. There was a test of the clusters and a small upward impulse, after which the zone with clusters was broken. The breakout was clear, and after several tests of the broken zone, the downward movement continued. On the 1x scale chart, two cluster zones also formed in this range, although on the 5x scale, the breakout of clusters seemed clearer and more timely. The next cluster appeared after a decline, and the price reaction in the candle with the cluster was distinctly visible. The cluster turned the price around, although we wouldn't have waited for a complete test. However, on the 1x scale, we observed two cluster groups in the same zone, and after the breakout, the price tested the broken zone, offering an entry point into the market. The following cluster formed after an uptrend, it turned out to be a reversal one, and after its formation, the price experienced a significant downward impulse. As you can see, this cluster appears to be the strongest. However, on the 1x scale, we don't observe strong indications of trader interest in this zone, and there were no apparent visual reasons for such a substantial decline. The 5x scale provided more evident opportunities to take a position from such a zone. During the downward impulse, several cluster zones formed, and the price tested them along the way. All these zones were under the control of the seller. On the 1x scale, there were also numerous clusters, but these zones introduced more ambiguous information. Therefore, on the 5x scale, the zones were interpreted more clearly. After the decline, a strong cluster appeared on the 5x scale, reversing the price upward. This reversal is visible, and the price tested the support zone. On the 1x scale, we also encountered several strong zones with trader interest and a victory for the buyer. In this case, there was also an excellent retest of the support zone. To sum up this battle of trade clusters, there isn't one simple answer for which scale is better for analyzing clusters. On the 1x scale, there is a greater chance of identifying clusters, and in some cases, a better chance of finding a good entry point during zone testing. The advantages of the 5x scale lie in the strength and reliability of clusters. When we effectively filter out weaker clusters, we obtain high-quality and relevant zones for oil. However, unlike the smaller scale, we may not always get a cluster test at this level, so we will miss certain reversal points. Overall, this trade filter is a high-quality tool for cluster analysis and proves particularly beneficial on range XV charts.
So, give this combination a go on your instrument to enhance market analysis effectiveness and improve the accuracy of entry points. Hit the like button, subscribe and download the platform for free. See you in the next video.